Hey guys! Lego Freak here. It's been a weird sort of thing going on with my YouTube as of um, recently, as if, if you haven't noticed. Uh, it's been it's been strange. I haven't been consistent very much, and I've been missing a lot, and I've been doing weird kind of videos, so... Yeah, it's it's not been good. It's not been good. Now, of course, most of you guys probably know what's going on. I got a job, so life is crazy, and basically everything's based around that, and I've been kind of lazy because I've been working a lot. But anyways, I'm going to try and jump back into it. But first of all, a few, uh, few little life updates. Obviously, number one, a job. And number two, I've got an Xbox, which I didn't have before. So, yeah, I've been, uh, if you can't see that, I've been enjoying some Goat Simulator because games are freaking blast. But anyway, um, yeah, so today we actually have a tutorial. What? A tutorial! So yeah, I don't know what you're all waiting for. Most of you are waiting for that freaking CW Speedster Showcase, which will probably be coming out very, very, very soon. Now here's, here's my issue with the Speedsters, right? The freaking lightning bolts on the side of their helmets, most of them, I'm trying to find out what to use for that. I've tried several things and nothing's working, so um, if you guys have any ideas for that, let me know that in the comments. That's what's keeping me from finishing that Speedster Showcase, is the lightning bolts on the side. I, I could just paint them, but I want to try something else, so... Yeah, let me know if you have any good ideas for that in the comments. That'd be much appreciated. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, tutorial. All right, guys, and the custom minifigure for today is Taskmaster. Um, and you guys are probably wondering why. Basically, I found this photo. I'll put it up on the screen on Google. Uh, I forget what I was even researching, but I found this, and I was like, that looks freaking awesome. So, um... Basically, what I did was I just sort of, I've sort of based it off of that, but there, it's, there's obviously differences between this one and that one. But overall, the design was mainly based on that photo that you just saw. So I'll go ahead and show you a 360 of the uh, figure itself. Yeah, hold on. His sword thing's being a bit weird. But yeah, so overall, I do like the way that it turned out, and I think that it's pretty darn cool looking. So. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, will enjoy this tutorial. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the tools that I used. I don't know why I said it like guys, that. The tools I used for this particular minifigure include black paint, white paint, this gunmetal paint. It's not really silver, it's gunmetal, so yeah. And gold paint, orange paint, and a paintbrush, and of course a thumbtack for details. I also did use green stuff, which is a sculpting material. Um, and I also did use some electrical tape, so, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the pieces that I so used. So, the pieces I used for this minifigure, basically, this hood was from, um, a, a character in the, one of the newer minifigure series. It was like the, this archer guy, I'll put a picture of him up over there, so you can see, there you go. So, yeah. Um, the face was from the Lego Taskmaster from one of the earlier Marvel sets. The only Lego Taskmaster, basically. Black body, two black arms. Uh, this arm obviously has had some. What the freak? <laughs> Anyways, something just fell in my room. This arm over here has had some du uh, work done to it, but it's just a black arm. White hand here, a gray hand there. This belt piece was from obviously the new Lego Batman sets. Uh, one of eh, these belt pieces here. Um, and these legs were from the Civil War War Machine. Um, so. Yeah, not not the first War Machine, but the, the newer War Machine. That's what the legs are from. This sword back here uh, is just a standard Lego katana. This knife was bought from Brick Arms. And then this gun, um, I believe you can also get on Brick Arms. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the actual painting tutorial. Sorry, I did forget to mention this in the previous segment. Uh, this shield was basically just a shield I got from a Hobbit set. But you could just use a Captain America shield or that sort of thing. So, um, yeah. Anyways, getting on with the actual painting tutorial. So first things first with the hood. Obviously, I cut off that little mouth uh, piece because he had this like little cloth part over his mouth. I did cut that off and then sanded it down. Painted the whole hood white and then did this little gold outline here on the hood. So yeah, that's all I really did for the hood. Not much there. Uh, you can see the dark green in there. Anyway, face. I literally did nothing to the face, so we'll just go ahead and take that off. Um, <laughs> so anyways, right here. Um, on the chest, I did some sculpting with green stuff. You can see it actually sticks off a bit there. So, not not a necessary step, but I decided to do it. Oh, wait, I did use silver paint. Gosh darn it. Anyway, uh, 
<laughs> so yeah, basically just add silver paint to the list of tools. So yeah, this is electrical tape, this strap right here. Again, you could just paint that on, but I decided to put that just for the extra detail. I wasn't sure what to put on this strap. I might add some like bullets or something later, like um, bullet shells or something like that, but let me know what I should add to this strap here. I, I couldn't really tell. Now if you see in the photo, um, if you look at the photo that I based this off of, here, like a bunch of like little pins here with different superhero symbols on them. I'm not sure why. But, yeah, I decided not to do that just because I wasn't sure why he had those. But you guys can let me know in the comments. Anyways, um, so, yeah, I did sculpt the chest. My camera would cut out then because of lack of memory. Anyways, um, I sculpted the chest and then just outlined it in the silver. Then I just painted a silver line going down this way. And then um, a silver line going across, basically like a silver T right here. Then I just... Uh, continued the T and did like a curve up to either side which you can't see because of the tape but basically just it was uh, basically a silver T and then I just curved it up like that then from there I just did a curved line going down this way like that and then just did this line across and then one more line right here so yeah now over here you can see that he has a robotic type arm um, which was actually really fun to do basically what I did was I took a little clay parts and then it just pushed it onto the arm and then just shaped it with the thumbtack so you see the shoulder the bicep the tricep there's like a little elbow pad right there um, and I'm actually very proud of this arm right here and then he has some like little wire parts here and then I did sculpt on a little bit on the wrist as well so that looks pretty sweet but basically in the photo it like continues to his chest so I painted this part in gunmetal right here and then put a little orange dot there because he also has like these little like orange lights these lights I guess or like something like that so I put an orange dot there and then I painted this part here gunmetal um, and put two orange dots there and then over here I painted it gunmetal as well two uh, orange dots and then like this little uh, rectangle with the gunmetal as well so yeah basically on this arm as well I also painted um, a gold T for Taskmaster obviously and then outlined it in black and I also put black in between the little spots where the sculpting was. I put two orange things right here, like uh, like more lights, and then three right here. One, two, three. Um, so yeah. Um, back here on this part, I actually poked in four little dots onto the elbow pad because I thought that'd be a cool little touch. Um, and basically for these like, ignore the notification sound, but in, uh, for these little like things here, I just put some clay on and then took the the thumbtack and then just scraped it a bunch so it's got these little lines in there which I thought was a uh, pretty cool um so yeah and then just put a gray hand on that so yeah um now I'm gonna focus camera there we go for the uh, belt basically so again it's just that Lego Batman belt I just painted it white then painted this part in the middle gold um, painted this T and then outlined it in black I also put uh, some more gold here and here and gold on these little pouch parts there um, I didn't do anything on the back to it except again paint it white so yeah um, now if you're wondering about the sword holster it's right here um, I'll show you that in a sec now for the legs basically um, again these were the war machine legs so I just painted this middle part black and left these gray like outlines there so I thought that was a pretty cool touch and it matched like the gunmetal with the rest and then of course this part on the shoes here was from the legs as well because it was already printed there now on the side I did whoops I did just pull him off. Uh, on the side here, move your robotic arm, Taskmaster. Uh, pretty much, uh, I painted a continuation of this outline. So, gunmetal line going up, and it goes down, and then it's got, then basically it just does a little like a hump right there, and then a, a smaller one right there. And same on this side. So, basically, just continued it all the way up, down, and then just kind of did this just a slanted line over and then back. So, yeah, I did that twice. Now on this arm, you can see a gunmetal uh, shoulder, kind of just uh, where the shoulder would be, because this arm's normal, this one's obviously not, but yeah. And then I painted white on here, just kind of going around like a continuation of his uh, glove, I guess, so just a white line, and it is outlined in gunmetal, you can see that there. Uh, the white kind of goes up and does this little like loop where it goes back, and if you look, yeah, look right there, um, basically I painted two gold lines on this white part as well and then I did put gunmetal up here on his elbow as like another elbow pad type thing so uh yeah that about does it for the torso and all that stuff so let me move on to the sword holster not too much to say basically what I did was I took um some paper 
and I wrapped it around a Lego katana, so just a standard Lego katana, and then I covered the paper in electrical tape. So yeah, it actually works pretty well. And then um, I glued it to one of these like back pieces here. I don't know why that's yellow, but yeah, so I sanded the stud off, of course, of the back piece, and then just glued this on there. Now this little knife, basically I took another piece of paper and a piece of electrical tape and just put wrapped it around so this knife actually does slide out of there. It's a little hard to do, but it actually does come out of there, so that's pretty cool. And then I just painted, for detail, a little golden T um, on the back there. Now for the shield, pretty much what I did was I just painted the whole thing black, then I took gold, painted the T. Phone, please work with me. I'm just trying to get a video out for my subscribers. Anyways, um, hopefully that won't happen again. Anyway, for the shield, um, basically I took some gold, uh, as you can see, and painted this T on there. Um, and basically, once I did that, um, I just took some gunmetal, did a circle all the way around, and then just put five orange dots between each of the little things, uh, the little points of the T. So... Yeah, and of course, um, painted the whole thing black, and then on the back here, I painted it uh, in gunmetal, except for the handle, because the paint would just come off. So, yeah, um, now in the photo, he actually does have, like, some claws, some, like, Wolverine-looking claws, so I actually have these, these Wolverine claws painted orange, which I forgot to have um, him holding at the in the beginning of the video, so let me put those on there. So, never mind, let me not put them on there. So, um, yeah, now he did have this gun as well in the beginning, so pretty simple, all I did was just take paint some gunmetal and some gold on there um i'll probably paint more on this in the future but yeah so anyways you can just see there what i did to it so yeah anyways let's go ahead and wrap up this video before my camera runs out of memory all right guys that wraps up this video hope you guys liked it if you did make sure to leave a like as well as subscribe i recently hit 2000 which is awesome um i do want to do something special for that but i have no idea what to do so let me know in the comments uh what you think i should do for that because uh, pretty freaking cool that I got that many and um, looking forward to plenty more in this new year so um, yeah and again um, thanks for being patient while I balance out this whole life thing I mean a lot of things are going on recently as a matter of fact I recently had to go get these yeah now I look like an absolute geek don't I um, yeah I don't need to wear these all the time basically I, I have trouble seeing far away uh, so I don't need them right now at all but and let me eyes just. Alright, so, yep, uh, now I look like an ultra geek. People are just gonna mock me in the comments. Go for it, I don't care. But, uh, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and do some shout outs before we finally finish up this video. So, first shout out of today. It's on my iPad here, and my iPad's flipping out. So, anyways, first shout out of today goes to psh, Legos with Chet Oberg. So, yeah. Psh. Next one goes to MM Customs slash re at reviews I think is what that's supposed to be but you know psh. next one goes to psh. that guy the cat that's an interesting name I like it psh. next one goes to whoosh, Evan Kelman so there you go and the last one for today, now this is, a, uh, this is a bit weird, actually. Someone in the comments of my last video asked me to shout out psh, my, Michael MGF. So, I mean, pretty sure every one of you watching knows exactly who that is. I don't really know why they asked me to shout him out, but freak, I'll do it. I don't care. So there you go. Psh. Um, actually, I do have one more shout out because this guy, he, he put the funniest comment on my video. I absolutely, if you're watching this, uh, I absolutely loved this comment, so, psh, T. Nick, uh, freaking awesome comment, dude, I, oh my gosh, it made me laugh, I laughed so hard at that, so, awesome, <laughs> gosh, um, so, yeah, anyways, go check out my last video if you want to see the comment he put, it was funny, to me anyway, so yeah, there you go, psh. anyways, let me go ahead and wrap up this video, like, end the video before my camera dies again, because I've been doing that a lot, it's not even a camera, it's a phone, so, Anyways, I'll see you guys um, in the next video. Next video will be a set review. Basically, I'm going to do like tutorial set review, then tutorial set review, and do kind of a pattern like that. Uh, that way I kind of space out the content. That way I don't do too many set reviews and actually give you guys some figures. So, yeah, again, let me know in the comments as well. Xbox, what? Anyway, let me, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for the lightning bolts on the Speedsters helmets. 
Anyways, this has been Lego Freak. Peace. Woo.